from the studios at Premonition Tower, Case Facts. Hello and welcome to Case Facts. Let's take a look at the latest Johnson & Johnson class actions. These are all about talcum powder. The plaintiffs here are alleging that using talcum powder gives you ovarian cancer. Is this true? Well, the answer seems to depend on where you live and where you filed a lawsuit. In the leading case at the moment, which is Tiffany Hogan's et al. versus Johnson Johnson, is filed in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. And that's in front of a judge, the Honorable Rex Burleson. Now, Judge Burleson has been giving away 70 odd million dollars every few days like it's candy, which is great, unless you're Johnson & Johnson. And it's quite interesting because you see here, his plaintiff win rate is 60%. Now, those of you that watch case facts regularly will know that's really, really high. Usually judges have a plaintiff win rate around about 37%. Now, what's interesting is that over in the New Jersey courts, uh, so as we see here, this judge has a 31% win rate. And the judge in these cases in New Jersey has basically said that the scientific evidence, the very same scientific evidence which was presented in St. Louis, does not meet the bar for scientific accuracy and isn't good enough to a legal standard. So he's been tossing those cases like their yesterday's sushi. Same facts, same law, completely different result. Why is that? Well, it's down to the people involved, and in this case, the venue. A venue is very simply where you file a case, but it has a huge impact on what's likely to happen. You file in one court, you get one result. You file in another court, you get another result. It's one of the things we do for clients here at Premonition. Take a lot of looking at venue. Here are the busiest patent courts in the United States. Now, there are 208 courts that you can file patent cases in in the federal system. And yet, magically, 44% of them are filed here in the Eastern District of Texas. Now, why is that? Well, it's because the Eastern District of Texas is notorious for being very, very plaintiff friendly and apparently you can take any old piece of nonsense in there and the judge will swing the gavel and you're likely to walk out with a verdict in your favor. So, it's overwhelmingly the court of choice for plaintiff's attorneys looking to file patent claims. Now, this is not the only court that has a reputation for strangeness. Let's take a look at Cook County, Illinois. This has been the place to file product liability claims over the years, such as the Johnson & Johnson tout claim. And historically, juries in Cook County, Illinois, have found in favor of the plaintiff 62 to 72% of the time. Again, it's really, really high. You're wanting to compare that to the average of 37. However, there have been some changes in that court, and that historical high has now dropped down to 37%, essentially the average. So Cook County isn't what it used to be. So all the plaintiff's attorneys right now are looking to see Where's the new Cook County? Where can I go to be almost guaranteed that the case is going to go in my favor and I'm going to get a big judgment? And this is where they are starting to look right now, basically the city of St. Louis. They are saying that that is the new Cook County, Illinois, the new choice of venue for the plaintiff's side. So as we've seen here, the people involved in litigation are really a very key determinant. We found here at Premonition that they are worth an average of 30.7% of case outcome, is the relationship with the judge and the lawyers. Don't forget that law is an insider's game. If you're not inside, you are outside. So 
you'll need to like, share, and subscribe if you want to stay inside. Looking forward to seeing you next time on Case Facts. Thank you.